Hi guys, Dr. Ruiz here from Smile Dental Center. Some time ago, I was talking to one of the hygienists at their practice, and she made me realize that I hadn't been brushing my baby's teeth. I know, I'm sorry, it has been corrected. Now that being said, it made me realize that there's probably a lot of parents out there that are unaware that they should be brushing their baby's teeth. They do not know when to start, what to use, or how to do it. So I decided to do this little video for you guys, just uh, some information for questions that you might have about when, how, or what to use to brush your baby's teeth. The American Dental Association recommends that once your baby gets its first tooth in the next six months to bring them to the dentist, even before that to be brushing or cleaning their gums with a wet cloth. So some of the things that you could use for this are things like this over here that I have. It's the finger brush. And I know a lot of parents are um, aware about this one. Um, I didn't use it. Don't make me repeat it. But I think it's a good tool. It has a, a brush on one side and some ridges on the other, which will probably help them when they start thieving. They are going to want to bite on you. And this is definitely a good tool to use. Then I found this one over here. And this one I thought was very fun and very helpful. Um, before I continue, I am not affiliated to any brands. I'm just a mom and a dentist. Just letting you guys know what I found helpful and things that I think you might find helpful. So like I said, this one over here has two ridges, one on the top and one on the bottom. And it fits right there on the gums, which is very helpful because you can clean both the top and the bottom. And it just snugs it right in there. So that's another thing that you can use. And this is just for babies that have maybe one or two teeth. Um, but definitely before that, when after they drink milk, just to clean their gums. So the next one I'm going to show you, my babies love it. This one um, is kind of a strawberry, but I've seen variations of it as an apple. I'm sorry, as a banana or a corn. Um, so we got this one. I think one of the reasons why they love it so much are the little bumps it has on the back. And what I like about it is that it's like a toothbrush and it's long. So if they put it all the way back, it won't make them gag and it'll help them learn how not to gag themselves eventually with the toothbrush. So that one we were using before and now we have transitioned to this one over here, which is the actual baby toothbrush. It has very soft bristles, which is very important because there's a lot of exposed gums at this age and you don't want to scratch them because that hurts. We use toothpaste, which brings me to the next part, which is what type of toothpaste to use. Any kind of brand is fine as long as it says that it's fluoride free. We don't use fluoride up to two or three years of age or that your baby knows how to spit. So right now I'm using the Colgate. Um, the Colgate's fluoride free, zero to two, safe to swallow. And I'm using it because it's a mild fruit flavor, which they like. And the other one that I got is from Dr. Brown's. And I haven't used this one just because it's apple and pear. And they are not very fond of apples at this point. So I'm avoiding using this one. But this one's uh, all natural toothpaste. If you guys want that type of option, I think it's a good toothpaste. Our, day, our daily routine is basically they wake up. We brush our teeth and at this point we are trying to brush their teeth every time that they have a solid food um, but I know that that's a little bit overwhelming or very optimistic of me if you guys brush in the morning at a night time that's more than enough and it'll make them start to have a routine which is very important to establish now because that way as they grow older they still have that in their mind that they have to brush and it's part of their going to bed routine. So what we did recently was that we changed their bedtime routine as well. And before we were feeding them and then putting them to bed. And now what we do is that we feed them a little bit earlier, we brush their teeth, give them a bath and then put them to bed. That way we make sure that their teeth are clean before going to bed because baby teeth can get cavities too. And some of you might have heard previously baby bottle syndrome, and now it's called early childhood caries. And that's a real thing. You know, you don't want to see your baby with tooth decay.
So I made a video with the boys of them brushing their teeth and I wanted to show you how I brush their teeth first. Hi guys, so like I was saying earlier, they love to brush their teeth. Oh, Oliver, sit here. So basically what I do is I brush the bottom teeth. They'll try and suck on it. The bottom and the top as much as they let me. They sometimes try to get them themselves. And then we can see Oliver going at it. Once they let you, you go on the bottom, uh -huh, and then on the top. And you try to guide them as much as you can. And once we are done with the brushing, I usually just go ahead and switch with their toy. And there he guides his own self to do it. To summarize the video, um, remember no fluoride until they're two or three or they know how to spit. Try to start brushing as soon as possible and try to implement it into their daily routine. That way they can create a habit of it. I hope you guys enjoyed our video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, go check out our website or give us a call. We're always happy to help.